The Last Caretaker is a new survival crafting simulator that has gotten critical acclaim on Steam. The game features novel crafting and scavenging mechanics, but unfortunately uses a rather unrefined branch of Unreal Engine 5. It includes Lumen GI, Lumen Reflections, and Virtual Shadows, which means performance is understandably poor. In this guide, we'll have a look at the performance of the game on the RTX 3060, 4060 mobile, and the 4060 desktop. It should also apply to the 3060 Ti desktop. We'll recommend the optimized graphic settings for 1080p, 1440p for 60fps as well as 100-220fps. On the RTX 3060 and 4060 mobile at 1440p, you'll need performance upscaling and everything can be set to epic except shadow quality which is at high, global illumination and reflections at medium and shader quality at high. This should get you a consistent 60 FPS plus. Now frame pin is certainly an option on the 4060 but it doesn't really help much because we're significantly CPU limited here. You only go from 60 to 75, 78. I don't think that's worth the induced input lag but if you're okay with it then fine but I recommend uh, disabling frame gen at 1440p on the 4060 mobile. With the FSR 3 frame gen mod, you can use it on the RTX 3060 and you should be able to get closer to 80-85 FPS if you are on a desktop PC. Ten p is much more forgiving, you need balanced upscaling and you'll have to set shadow quality, reflection quality, global illumination quality, and shading quality to high. This will get you around 65-66 um, FPS in large open areas like these, and around 70 plus on the boat, ship, and small closed off rooms and habitats.
Frame gen is much more effective at 1080p, enabling frame gen with balanced upscaling using the same settings gets you around 90, 90 plus FPS in large open spaces like these and over 100 FPS in closed off rooms and smaller uh, explorable spaces including the boat. On the RTX 4060 desktop and 3060 Ti at 1440p, you'll need balanced upscaling and shadow quality, low illumination at high, reflection quality at medium, and shading quality at high. This will yield you around 60 to 65 FPS in large open spaces, while 70, 70 plus on the boat and other smaller explorable spaces. Frame gen yields around 110-210 um, FPS in smaller closed off rooms and around 90 FPS in large open spaces at 1440p with balanced upscaling using the same settings. I recommend switching to performance upscaling so you can get a more consistent 100 FPS experience. In ADP is a breeze, you need balanced upscaling and all you have to do is just shadow quality to high and you'll be getting around 65 to 70 FPS. If you prefer 100 FPS plus, you need to enable frame gen. I also recommend reducing uh, shadow quality to high, high illumination, high reflections, high, and shading quality to high. This will get you around 120 to 130 FPS in almost all parts of the game. 
with 140 in smaller spaces and on the boat. 